Hey guys, my name is Dan Durant and I hope you're doing fantastic. Today I have a two part tutorial. First part is this little guy. This is a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B using the Can Kit Raspberry Pi 4 Starter Kit. So I'm going to show you how to assemble it, how to get it ready. Oh, I love it. And on the second video, I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux on this little device so you can do pen testing and ethical hacking. Stay here, don't go anywhere, and follow the tutorial so you can get started. If you like my content, make sure you smash that subscribe button and press that little bell so you can get notifications as soon as more content is out. All right, so this is the Kanakid Raspberry Pi 4 starter kit. This particular version comes with the Raspberry 4 8 gigabytes of RAM. You can get it in four, you can get it in two gigabytes. I recommend this one. It goes for about $150 USD or $190 Canadian on Amazon. And it's a really, really good deal for this guy, which is pretty powerful. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you four things. So the first one is, I'm going to talk a little bit about this little guy here, which as you can see, fits right on the palm of my hand. Then I'm going to talk about all the peripherals and all the stuff that this kit comes with, and we're going to assemble it. And then at the end, I'm going to show you how to set up the noobs disk image, which comes, of course, preloaded in this uh, 32 gigabyte micro SD. So let's get talking about the Raspberry Pi 4. The Raspberry Pi 4 comes with a 1.5 gigahertz, 64 bit quad core ARM v4 CPU, and it has an eight gigabyte RAM on this particular guy. And as you can see, the first port is the ethernet port, and this is a one gigabyte ethernet port. Then we have two USB three ports in here then two USB two ports right here. And if I flip this little guy and you'll see two micro HDMI ports, right? So if you want to connect it to two different monitors, then the AC adapter and then a 15 watt powered USB C port in here. If I flip it over, then you'll see the micro SD card port right in here. And that's it. That is, in itself, the magical, wonderful Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. Now let's talk about the Kanakid Raspberry Pi 4 Starter Kit, which comes with the manual, as well as all the paperwork on the warranty. It comes with the chassis, and the chassis is very good looking, a very high quality, durable chassis in here. So three piece chassis, and the third piece, you can see the assembly and the housing for the fan as well as a very nice and shiny coat. So it's a glossy device. What I really like about this, uh, this whole assembly is that it does not require screws. It just snaps right into place, which is very nice. The kit also comes with the heat sinks. So the heat sink for the CPU, uh, this one is for the micro SD, and this little one here would be for the USB-C controllers. Very important to have the heat sinks if you're doing compiling any software or running really heavy applications. And what it also comes with is this nifty, tiny little system fan, which you can control the speed of the fan depending on what pin you put uh, the power on. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So this is the, the fan right here. It also comes with a USB reader, so micro SD to USB reader. So if I open this up, I can plug the micro SD card right about there and then put it on my computer, then burn an ISO, load it up in here, take out the card and then power up my Pi with the micro SD to boot up another ISO or a software or a uh, applications and so on. So it's very nifty. Then the other stuff that it comes with is this uh, Pi switch. So the Pi switch basically plugs into your power outlet right here. You can turn an, on and off the Pi. And also you can see here, this is uh, an AC adapter with the 
USB-C tip. And at the end, the kit also comes with the HDMI to micro HDMI right here. So it only comes with one cable. So if you want to power up two monitors, you're gonna have to get a spare cable for this. One more thing here, you can see that it also comes with a 32 gigabyte Samsung Evo micro SD card. For your convenience, it's also preloaded with the Noobs software. That's it. This is in itself the entire Kanekit Raspberry Pi 4 starter kit. So now we're going to get assembling it. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is put on the heat sinks, right? So there's a little sticky here, as you can see. So let me just peel this off right there. And then I'm going to stick it right on the CPU. You don't need anything. You don't need any paste for this unit. It just sticks on like that. Now we're going to do the micro SD port or controller like this. And then just stick it to the controller like that. The last one is a very tiny one. So you gotta be very careful with this one. So I'll just gonna peel it off and put it on the USB-C controller. Perfect. So that's the first step. Now, what you want to do is place the Raspberry right on the pedestal. And that's very easy to do. You just slide it in and that's it, right? So there's no screws or anything, nothing snaps. As you can see, everything aligns perfectly on the sides, right? So that's how you do it. Then the housing goes right on top. So you just snap the housing in place. So it should look something like this with the base. The last thing that you want to do is two things. So the first one is you might want to put the fan, the system fan on, right? So make sure that the can kit logo is facing you when you put this on, right? There you go. And then what you do is you connect the first one. So this is the ground cable on the six pin. So that would be the third pin on the right hand side or the right column of pins. And the second one, oops, it just came off. So let me just put it back on. And the second one, I'm gonna put it right beside it on the second pin or fourth, if you wanna take the entire assembly. So it should be something like this, right? Now what I do is I just close the lid like this snap it into place and then you will see the grooves on this thing all around it and that's it last thing i want to do of course the preloaded micro sd card with noobs i'll just put it upside down like this right and stick it in there and now let's power this thing up so i'm going to place it in here and start putting on the cables all right, so let's do first the AC adapter in here. So there you go. Okay, and then this guy will go right in here. There you go, like this. I'm gonna put on the micro HD cable right on one of these guys. All right, so just so you know, I made a little mistake. I, I called this the AC adapter, and this, this is not the AC adapter. This is actually the headphones jack. And the nice thing about this Raspberry is two things. The first one is that it's completely wireless, so you can connect it to your Wi-Fi, and it has Bluetooth as well, so you can connect it to peripherals that are Bluetooth compatible. So it is pretty powerful, right? All right, so powering up this thing and loading up the Noobs software now. I have my uh, Bluetooth keyboard as well as my mouse connected. Make sure that the HDMI, the micro HDMI is on the main screen. So this one, or else you're gonna get a rainbow if it's on the other side, right? And make sure that you have your micro SD card installed in there and we're ready to go. So the last thing that I need to do is just turn on the power on this thing and then boot up the Raspberry OS. So let's get right into that. All right, so I just turned on the Raspberry and as you can see, I see the rainbow uh, screen. And then right after that, in a few seconds, you will see the booting of the Noobs uh, software. And here it is, right? So now you can actually uh, install. So by clicking 
the uh, Raspberry Pi OS 432-bit. You can also boot up the 64-bit, which I recommend. So just download it from the uh, Raspberry Pi website. And, or you can have the Libre ELC Raspberry 4 for entertainment. So these are the two things. Um, if you wanna load up your Raspberry software, that's okay. But what I'm going to do on the next video is load up my Kali Linux because this is a cybersecurity channel. So I wanna make sure that you know how to load up your Kali Linux on Raspberry 4. All right, and that's how you assemble this little guy, the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B using Can Kit Raspberry Pi 4 starter kit. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux on your Raspberry Pi. Go to the next video and let's get going.